Hey everyone, this is Alex from Zerian. Today I'm gonna to walk you through how to get exposure, start playing around in a really exciting L2 called Arbitrum. Arbitrum is one of the leading layer two uh, networks and has been a partner of Zerian for some time. So I'm gonna go through some basic functions, show how to get exposure and get into the space in the first place, and just try to uh, figure out what you can do with Arbitrum inside Zerian. So first things first, uh, what we're looking at here is the Zerian uh, web app. Uh, we've had a portfolio tracking app for some time, and as you can see inside this wallet, test.zerian.eth, you can see all the assets that I hold on Arbitrum. Um, this includes for the moment just some basic assets. It doesn't have uh, stake positions or any complex things like this. Basically, this is uh, looking at this wallet filtered by all Arbitrum assets. Now, if you were using a wallet that didn't have anything in Arbitrum, the first thing you'd probably want to do is try to bridge into Arbitrum. So what we're going to do here is demo how that looks inside Zerian's web app. We are, make this possible via a partner called Socket, a uh, really great partner of ours. So first of all, we're going to select, let's do base. I think I looked at this earlier. Um, so then what we're going to do here is just enter how much ETH we'd like to bridge in. It's going to fetch. It's going to be a pretty cheap trade to execute. So we're going to go and execute this. What's happening here, it, it sort of went really fast, but if you saw, there was this little note here that said analyzing. And effectively what this is, is something pretty unique to Zerian, which is transaction simulation. When you go to do any kind of transaction, whether it's a bridge, swap, whatever, buying an NFT, it doesn't, doesn't matter. We basically render in this little window inside the extension before you even get started, what's going to happen once you actually click confirm, once you actually complete the trade, basically. So this gives you a bit of extra layer of confidence when you're exploring Web3 that like, I haven't added an extra zero or I haven't like mistyped something or I'm actually getting what I intended to get. So in this case, we, we can go ahead and click confirm here. Uh, the trade's being executed. You get this little uh, window down here and shortly we should be able to go and see it completed. Um, so there you go, it's been finished. Now, if I go back to our main overview here, I uh, just want to click over here. If I go into the extension itself, I can go over to history um, and I can actually see that this trade has just been executed here, again, via our partner socket. So this is the first part, you can see that basically from this, you can see that I've sent money from base, which is what we did. And uh, you can see how much it costs, which partner it was. And this is all just like a really nicely presented, detailed way to understand what's actually happened on the trade. So shortly, shortly this will be completed. It takes a little while. Anytime, if you've, if you've tried bridging of any kind, sometimes it takes a little bit because you basically have two different transactions taking place inside the one uh, bridge transaction. But what I want to do, even while we're waiting, maybe is do something a little bit simpler. So what we're looking at here is GMX. GMX is a really popular spot and perpetuals exchange that basically is like super cheap and really popular on Arbitrum. And so what I want to do here is just do a simple swap um, from ETH on Arbitrum to USDC. So again, let's just do a pretty small amount here, but I just want to show what's going to happen. So you can, when you go to actually hit swap ETH, it's going to create the order. Again, you get this uh, transaction simulation thing that we talked about previously. It's a little more expensive this time than what we were getting from the bridge, but we're going to go ahead and confirm this. And actually, I want to show you this uh, in the history tab. Did you see briefly? It showed up very briefly because it happened so fast. Um, but basically, there was a little orange dot over top of the history tab when I was completing the transaction. Basically, this is like a pending, a pending alert. So when you're doing a lot of trades in Web3, if you're like me, sometimes it can be really, really stressful to actually understand if the thing has actually been completed or not. Am I actually going to get my assets on the other end? And so this little um, dot basically is just a, a something we've included for peace of mind is just general UX to help you understand that like yes in fact hold your horses have, be a little patient the trades being completed and in this case you can see that it has been so basically the the trade that we just executed is here uh, in from GMX and that's just like I think one a really popular thing that you'd want to do inside GMX especially if you're trying to get exposure to some of the other uh, great features that they offer so there you have it. There's a quick demo of how you can get access to the Arbitrum ecosystem and really get involved here uh, with the Zerian extension. So thanks a lot and uh, talk soon.